Has anybody seen the spray bottle of alcohol? Looks like a little hair. Right behind the hand sanitizer. Behind the hand sanitizer. On the table. Oh, yeah, yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah, right. Thank you for participating in the first seek and find at the schoolhouse brewing. All right, we found the uh, alcohol bottle, so we can clean the mic off. And we can continue the show. We're going to have Mr. Jacob Chalk come up and do some stand-up. Give uh, Jacob a nice round of applause. Nice. Okay. There you go. Right. Hey, guys. Uh, is this... Is uh, oh, I see. Ah, okay. Uh, this is my first time here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Give it up for Jason for just even having a show at all that all of us could come waste our time at. Yeah, it's going to take you a while to raise that up to my height. So, uh, I love how I've never seen a flamethrower heckle before, but that was one of the funniest things I've seen in my life. Uh, this venue is nonsense. Uh, if anybody gets up at all, you hear every step of what they make. So it's fantastic, really conducive to comedy. So let's get this going. I only got a few minutes here, so I'm gonna say, uh, you know, question for you guys. Anybody here love the boys? Anybody here love hanging out with the boys, huh? Make some noise? Yeah, yeah. It, you know what? Hey, if you love hanging out with the boys, come put your dick in my mouth right now, okay? Let's get this party started, dog. All right, I'm here to have fun, okay? Look, I, uh, there's no easy way to say this, and I'm kind of a jerk for saying it. I, I know I'm not gonna be nice about it, but. I don't dislike women. I just love the boys so much. Does that make sense? I agree. You agree? All right. Doesn't help if a dude says that, but I do like it. I do like it. I, I love the boys, man. You get it, King. All right. You get it. Look, my main thing is just the dude. Guys are so freaking weird and stupid. I love it. Okay. I have had dudes just walk up to me and be like hey i got a knife and some you know lighter fluid you want to light it on fire and throw it and i'm like god dudes are fantastic aren't they my they're so stupid i love it i love it it's like hanging out with the dumbest animals of all time i i and here's my thing is that i realized how much i love hanging out with dudes because you can never make like a jackass movie with all women you can't remake that movie because, like, with the dudes, they're like, yeah, let's go smack our dicks against a bunch of snakes. And you're like, yeah, this sounds entertaining. Let's go do that. Versus, like, if a bunch of women made that movie, they, they'd be like, I'm going to spread my pubes all over the toilet seat. Be like, oh, why are you doing that? That's disgusting. Get out of here. Jesus Christ. Ugh. This is nasty. Respect this, respect this house, okay? You got a bunch of signs saying, love this home. How about you do what the signs say, dog? I, uh, here's, here's a really good way to explain my feelings, okay? You guys ever watch nature documentaries with, like, birds and stuff in them? You know? Yeah, okay, we got one person. So with the birds, like, you know how, like, every dude bird is, like, just this most colorful thing trying to impress the woman bird, and then they show the woman bird, and it's like, oh, yeah, I guess that's a bird, yeah? That's dudes to me. That's, that's just what I like. The, pe the peacock that we all know that's beautiful and gorgeous, that's a male bird, dog. All right, and that bird, you know, I'll have sex with it, sure. <laughs> what are we riffing into tonight, huh? What are we riffing into, guys, huh? <laughs> I don't, I haven't, I don't have a timer, so Jason, whenever I'm running out of time, just give me the light or something like that. Okay, yeah, I didn't check my time here. I'm sorry, I didn't realize there was a clock. Um, okay. Go to seven thirty. Seven thirty, you want me off? All right, cool. Sure, yeah, I got you, man. I got you. I, uh, look, I love my guy friends. I love them to death. I love hanging out with my friend. He just got married, which is kind of a bummer because he brings her around a lot. And I'm not, I don't dislike her. It's just that she's got big titties. And I'm like, dude, come on, man. Like, this, I can't say this in front of anybody. All right, except for you guys. I'm telling you guys now. All right. <laughs> can't, I can't be like, as we're hanging out, hey, can you pass this all? Also, nice titties, lady. Thank you. Um, no, I can't do that. So he's great. She's nice, but no, it's weird. This is also a bit that I've kind of half written, so it's not anything really. I'll, uh, 
I recently moved into an apartment for the first time. It was pretty dope. I got my first ever place to myself. Before that, I was living with my friend's parents, so don't worry, I'm not a loser. He was, because he was still living at his parents' house. But we just got a new place, and the uh, maintenance guy is the weirdest dude I've ever met in my life. The other day, he came into our apartment, and he was like, hey, I heard you guys have some maintenance issues you need looked at. And I was like, yeah, could you please? And so I show him one. He's like, yeah, I, I heard that you have a, an issue with your screens. And I go, yeah, yeah, so this window here doesn't even have a screen at all. And then he looks at me dead in my eyes and goes, okay, well, I've worked here for several months and I've never replaced a screen. And then he just stared at me and I was like, all right, I guess that's the end of that. I guess that's fixed now. And then I, uh, at one point, he, I'm like, yeah, we have issues with our outlets where they just won't hold a plug. And he'll be like, okay, let me show you a trick. And he just takes up a, a lamp out, squeezes the plug and puts it back in. And then he looks at me and just goes, uh? and I was just like, so your solution was for me to fix it by breaking my items. Thank you, sir. And then the worst thing that happened there was at one point I go like, yeah, also we have a burned out outlet. So can you look at it? And he's like, oh, okay. I need to go get my drill first. And I was like, I don't, sure, man, whatever you do to you. And he goes and gets his drill and he comes back and he's using the flashlight of the drill to look at the outlet and like it has the the metal drill bit in and he's looking at it and he thinks it's dirty so he starts scraping at the outlet with the drill bit and in that moment i was like i am about to watch a man die i'm about to visibly see death in front of me and he stands up and he goes Hey, uh, I don't know what the issue is, but do you need me to look at anything else? And I went, no, please get out of my apartment. I, d I don't want you here anymore at all. I don't, dude, oh my God. The other day, like we have a ton of issues in our apartment. And the other day he just drives by on his golf cart and he goes like, hey, you doing good? And I'm like, yeah, I'm doing great. And he goes, all right. And he keeps driving. And then I realized like we have a bunch of things that we need fixed. And he wasn't asking me how I'm doing personally, which I took it as. He's asking me if I need anything repaired, which this is like, I realize it's his conning out of getting out of work. No, I will not stop. Jesus Christ. Come on, man. You were, this is the least offensive material I've said and you're barking at that? Come on, back off, dog. Oh, sick. Oh, sick. The way I talk like a bro actually worked out for that one. Um, uh, what is, what, what even is half this garbage I've written down? Uh, um, oh yeah, all right. This isn't a joke for anybody, this is just for me, but uh, I recently found out a friend of mine from high school uh, has had five abortions, and you know what that tells me? She's a keeper, all right? Well, not really though, but okay. That's a bad joke, that's a bad joke. Nobody should have laughed at that, please don't. I'm glad you didn't, thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, I know what I'll talk about. I know what I'll end on. So during quarantine, I feel like a lot of us thought about childhood, which we can all recognize was a mistake. Uh, none of us should have done that. But I recently started thinking about, yeah, I, heard, I saw some nods back there. You guys are like, yeah, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Should have just found, should have started knitting or something. Would have been better, more productive. But uh, I recently... I was thinking about it and I realized that there is a difference between, which is weird that I came up with this thinking about childhood, but is that there is a difference between watching porn and when you start masturbating. What I mean by that is as a kid, not a kid kid, but like 11, 12, 13, I would just stay up all night. I would watch porn and I would then not jerk off, get up and go to bed. And I did that for about three years of my life and just blue balled myself until one day I remember watching porn where the guy starts like jerking off and then I just went, wait a minute, I have that, hold on, wait. And I pieced it together like a beautiful mind style and then all of a sudden I was like, life is amazing! So that was an incredible moment for me. Uh, I haven't said this joke in so long. There was so much more to this. Um, what is it? Uh, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm really botching this joke right now. Who are you talking to? Hey, what's your name? 
Florida. Florida? Yeah. Florida? Yeah. Hey, what's up, man? Here, come on, give me the phone. <laughs> he doesn't speak English. He doesn't speak no, English? No. Don't worry, neither do you I. You can try if you want. <laughs> Hello, how are you? <laughs> hey, look, you're at, you're on stage at a comedy show right now. Do you uh, have a joke in Spanish that you can say? I don't know what it is. <laughs> Here, tell me. I don't know if you can listen. Thank you. Yeah. And that was good. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, it is 7.30 now. Jason, I wasted my time. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys uh, for being here at all. Thank you, sir, on the phone for letting me do that at all. I'm surprised you did. You guys have a great night. Oh, uh, yeah, Jason wants me to tell you my Instagram. Uh, that way you can message me hate online. Uh, it is Jacob Chalk Comedy, J-A-C-O-B-C-H-L-K-C-O-M-E-D-Y, um, A-B-C-D-E-F-G. All right, everybody, that's Mr. Jacob Chalk. Let's give him a nice round of applause. We're going to have Mr. The Music of Christopher Walsh and Corey up next. Let me clean out this mic. Thank you all for sticking around. We'll be uh, doing stand-up and uh, comedy for a bit longer, so stick around. <laughs>